In this video, we're going to talk briefly about domain analysis and give an example of what kind of analysis is expected for this part of your project. The first thing we should address is what is a domain? In our context, a domain is the target subject area of a computer program. I think this is best described by this quote here by Andrew Powell Morse. And that is, domain analysis is the sphere of knowledge and activity around which the application logic resolves. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say our project is regarding the creation of a desktop software program for managing appointments at a local hospital. The domain would be the specific hospital it was created for, or hospitals in general, if it was designed for use by multiple hospitals. The specific software domain would be a desktop application specifically appointment scheduling software. Software domain analysis involves the identification, analysis, and specification of requirements that are common to a specific application domain. For example, what requirements are common for all appointment scheduling systems? This knowledge is valuable as it enables reuse. If we know what common requirements are found in one appointment scheduling system, we might be able to reuse some of them when creating a new appointment scheduling system. This enables reuse when we are working on multiple projects within the same application domain. The other category is object-oriented domain analysis. This is the identification, analysis, and specification of common capabilities. By capabilities here, we mean common objects, classes, subassemblies, and frameworks. This means we can potentially reuse not only requirements, but also certain classes, frameworks, and so on. Regardless of the analysis used, the end goal is saving time and resources by analyzing systems that already exist in this domain. This can lead to accelerated development, improved communication with stakeholders, anticipating and managing risk, and ultimately leading to better and higher quality software. The analysis process involves reviewing multiple sources of domain knowledge, including technical literature, existing applications, customer surveys, and advice from domain experts. A domain expert is someone who has a deep knowledge of the domain and can provide us with valuable information for our analysis. This analysis should result in a domain analysis model that contains class taxonomies, functional models, domain languages, and enables standard reuse. A simplified version of this process can be seen as completing the following steps. One, identify the domain to be investigated. Two, collect a representative sample of applications in the domain. Three, analyze each application in the sample. And four, develop a domain analysis model using this information. How formal and detailed this model should be depends on your development team and the development process being used. A good general rule is only create models and documentation if they'll be used later in the project. If no one's going to read it, there's no point in creating it. For the project you're working on in this course, the domain analysis is relatively simple and straightforward. It only involves answering a few questions that you are given. We're going to go through each, but your answer should either be text-based, like a paragraph or two, or point form responses. So your domain analysis should include the following. What is the software domain for your project? What do you know about the domain? You should go out and look at some examples of other software in this domain and try to draw some conclusions. What are common issues encountered in this domain? What are the common solutions to the above issues in this domain? And how can we use this domain understanding to improve or accelerate development of this project? Now, there's not one correct answer here, and you are expected to go out and do a little bit of research. Let's take a look at an example and answer it with the same level of detail that's expected of your project. For this case, let's keep talking about that appointment scheduling system for a hospital. So what do we know about the domain? The domain is a health information system, and more specifically, an appointment scheduling system. Note that we don't simply just say the domain names here, we also describe it and mention some relative regulations we know about for this domain. So what common issues are encountered in this domain? Well, some would be the integration with existing systems and ensuring data privacy and scalability. These would be some of the main issues for a system like this. But keep in mind that there may be many, many more. 
try to focus on the ones that are most significant and specific to this domain and describe them in detail. So what about common solutions to the above issues? Well, this is going to depend on what issues you identify in your last step. Keep in mind that there should not be a full technical description of your solution here, but it should be fairly high level and abstract description of the solutions that others have followed in the domain. So once again, this isn't a technical description of how you're gonna solve the problem. It's a high level and abstract description of how others have approached this problem in other software that already exists. So these don't have to be solutions that you'll necessarily follow. In this example, we say use of standards to integrate with existing systems, implementation of strong security measures that are known to adhere to regulations, and the use of cloud solutions for scalability. Again, these would be different for your specific domain and your specific project. Lastly, how can we use this domain understanding to improve or accelerate development of this project? So I have a few detailed points here um, that you can read through but basically they fall into five categories. One, referencing best practices. Two, prioritizing requirements. Three, improved communication. Four, reduced development time. And five, better user experience. So keep in mind that your points will be different and should be specific to your project, your domain, and your team. Since this isn't a healthcare application, it might not be as important to follow regulations because there aren't gonna be many regulations on your specific project. So that's all I have for you in this video. Hopefully you can now start working on defining and analyzing the domain of your project. Remember, if you have any questions, you can always post to the course forums or send me an email. Thank you for watching and have a great day.